In this video, I am going to prove that limit extends to 0 sin x by x equal to 1. If you can remember the result and if you can use it, no need of proof. But then some people, I mean sometimes uh, the proof might be useful, especially in your theory exams. If you are in BTEC or if you are in, if you are preparing for IIT, JE, uh, then it might be useful. For gate, I think result is just enough. But let me not take any chances. I'll just prove it. So in order to prove this, you are supposed to know few basics from probably trigonometry, especially the sine, sine, tan, cos terms and then how to find out the area of a triangle and how to find out the area of a sector. So what I will try to do is, I will try to take it from basics in, in such a way that you understand it. Even if you don't understand it, if you are preparing for gate, just leave it. If you are preparing for IIT, JE or AIEEE, maybe it is important for you. Okay, let's see this one. Now, what I mean to prove is this one, this result. Limit x tends to 0 sin x by x equal to 1 where x is in radians that is what I wanted to prove now assume that we have x-axis and y-axis like this okay let us say this is a circle this is a circle which is having this circle which is having a center at uh, origin it doesn't look that way but then just assume that it is a circle which is having center at origin though it is not looking like that fine and there is a vector which is starting from origin and ending at the uh, there is a line line segment starting at origin and ending at the uh, circle per perimeter of the circle now this one length will be r the radius now from here let us say i want to draw, connect a line from here to here so this is also one more line r okay i want to connect a line from here to here okay and let's say let's call this point as this is origin o let's call this point as p let's call this point as q and now i want to extend this line further and I want to draw a tangent at this point. Now if I draw a tangent at this point, okay, in such a way that I will draw the point like that, okay. And let me call it as M, got it. So now we have here two triangles. One triangle is O, P, Q and then one tri other triangle is O, M, Q and then one uh, sector this sector is o p q so if you are not able to see what is happening there and just observe this i'll draw it again see now we have uh, something like this we have a triangle here okay this triangle is o q m right and then we have one more triangle here and this triangle is O, P, Q and we have one more sector here and this sector is O, P, Q, right? Now what is the relationship between uh, uh, the areas of these three? Which area is bigger? Obviously the area of O, Q, M is bigger, the triangle, right? And what about the area of the sector O, P, Q? O, P, Q is lesser than the area of the bigger triangle. And what about the other triangle? The other triangle is O, P, Q. This is smaller. Therefore, I can write like this. Area of triangle, this smaller triangle, this smaller triangle is O, P, Q. O, P, Q is less than or equal to area of this sector the sector is opq area of sector opq is less than or equal to area of the bigger triangle the bigger triangle is omq area of triangle omq okay omq that is the relationship between these three now let's find out what is the area of each triangle so in order to find out the area of the triangle there are two formulas one formula is half into base into height that is one formula other formula is half into product of two uh, product of two edges 
into sine of angle between them in fact the first formula is also derived from the second one therefore there is only one basic formula area of a triangle is half into product of two edges the length of the edges into sine of the angle between them right so what i mean to say is see this if i have a triangle like this if i have a triangle like this now if this angle is theta okay now the area of this one is let's say this is abc the area of this one is half into product of two edges let me take these two edges ab and ac half into ab into ac into sine of the angle between them sine theta right or if you take this 90 degrees then it is nothing but half into ac into bc into sine 90 right half into ac into right bc into sin 90 and we know that sin 90 is already 1 therefore it is nothing but half into base into height in a right angle triangle it turns out to be half into base into height or in any in any triangle you can go with this what is it half into product of two uh, sides into a angle between those two sides now just say here i want to find out the area area of the triangle opq opq now assume that this angle is theta so actually the result that i wanted is for sin x but then uh, i mean which means i want it for x but what i am trying to do here is since there is already x axis i am using the new variable theta so if the result is true for theta we can even prove that result is true A variable doesn't matter right okay now half into see this i am talking about this triangle o p q now i'll take this particular this particular uh, side okay one side and i'll take this particular side the other side okay these two sides are no nothing but the radiuses right radius so therefore it, each of them will be of r half into r into r into ang sine of angle between them which is nothing but sine theta is less than or equal to area of the sector opq now i want to find out the area of the sector opq how to find out the area of the sector see this now let us say you have a circle so how many radians will be there in the circle 2 pi right 2 pi radians will be there in the circle so area of a circle is pi r square which means for 2 pi radians area is pi r square then for theta radians what is the area for theta radians it is nothing but pi r square divided by 2 pi into theta now you get half into pi square into theta therefore the area of this particular sector is nothing but half into pi square into theta because this sector is having an angle of theta between the two radiuses right therefore half into r square into theta i hope you got this see a complete circle is made of two pi radians and complete two pi radians is going to make up an area of pi r square then how much area will be included if you take only theta radians that is how i got it pi, pi r square theta this is less than or equal to area of the triangle omq area of the triangle omq now if you look at this omq there are two ways to go about it it is a right angle triangle because it is a tangent now when you have drawn the tangent like this this particular line will be parallel to this okay so this particular line is parallel to this line then what does it mean that it is a right angle there there is a right angle there therefore area of the triangle omq is nothing but half into base into height so what is it half into what is the base oq so oq is nothing but r into height so height is nothing but mq mq here right now check this so in in a triangle if there is theta here then tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side tan theta equal to opposite side which means mq see in this triangle i'm talking about omq theta i think you forgot i mean i don't know if you remember all this trigonometry or not i don't have time to take trigonometry from basics therefore i'm assuming that you know this even if you don't know just leave them if you understand it it will be beautiful that is why i'm taking it okay see now tan theta is equal to mq which means opposite side is mq divided by adjacent side which means oq got it right 
and what is OQ here? OQ is already R. Therefore, what can you say about MQ? MQ is equal to R into tan theta, right? Therefore, in this MQ, I am going to substitute R into tan theta. Tan theta, okay? Fine. Now, if you observe this in the entire inequation, this entire inequation here, the three terms there is half r square is common half into r square half into r square half into r square you can cancel them out if i cancel it out i am going to get sine theta is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to tan theta now divide it completely by sine theta then we get one is less than or equal to theta by sine theta is less than or equal to tan theta is nothing but sine theta by cos theta now if you divide it with sine theta you are going to get one by cos theta right now you just take the reciprocals of all the terms then this inequation symbol is going to change which means if i take the reciprocals one is greater than or equal to i change it sin theta by theta is greater than or equal to cos theta i'm just changing them i'm just taking the reciprocals one sin theta by theta cos theta right and then i'm supposed to change these symbols right now observe this i want to find out limit theta tends to zero which means if this theta becomes nearly zero what happens to this inequation therefore apply the limit completely then what happens one is greater one there is no term of theta one is greater than or equal to limit theta tends to zero sin theta by theta is greater than or equal to limit theta tends to 0 cos theta now we know that when theta is very small which means if it is appear, if approaching close to 0 cos theta will approach close to 1 because cos 0 is 1 or you can directly place in place of theta 0 you are going to get 1 therefore 1 is greater than or equal to limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is greater than or equal to 1 right now what can you say about this so if you have such an equation they are saying that it is less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to 1 therefore obviously this particular value is going to be 1 isn't it it is called a sandwich theorem later we shall see it if it needed if it is needed but anyway it is just common sense if it is saying 1 and if it is saying 1 and if you are lying between then definitely the middle part is has to be 1 right so therefore the value of this one is going to be 1 so the value of this one is going to be 1 just in place of theta i have x here nothing else so if you understood the proof it is okay if you didn't understand the proof just remember the result but the proof is very beautiful and it might be useful in some exams so i have taken it okay so with examples we shall see how to apply this particular result in the exam fine